suspect from extremist Muslim compound lived in U.S. illegally for over 20 years they found everything. More devastating news has been revealed involving one of the five suspects who was arrested at the filthy extremist Muslim compound in New Mexico. The bust involved multiple children being held as if they were living in dire starvation, being trained as school shooters, and now we're learning more about one of the suspects living at that compound. Her name is Yanni Levea, she's 35, and she was detained by ICE. She was living in America illegally for over 20 years. She will soon face a judge to discuss her immigration status, which could end up in her being deported. However, many would like to see her serve jail time as they believe a punishment should be served. Just sending her back to her home country may be nothing more than a slap on the wrist. Of course, if she serves a prison sentence there, then that would be acceptable. Crimes against children should not be tolerated. This is yet another reason why President Trump and many presidents before him, such as Barack Obama and Bill Clinton, have wanted to take a strong stand on immigration reform and people following the law. Even Hillary Clinton at times has spoken out about illegal immigration, but somehow her followers are fighting against Trump as he talks about the potential for a border wall. MSN provided more specific details on the immigration status of the person involved. One of five suspects arrested at an extremist Muslim compound in northern New Mexico is originally from Haiti, and has lived in the U.S. illegally for more than 20 years, federal officials said Wednesday. Yanni Levea, 35, was detained by immigration officials Tuesday and soon must appear before a judge to resolve her immigration status, which could lead to her deportation, U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement ICE, officials said in a statement. Levea has been unlawfully present in the U.S. for more than 20 years after overstaying the validity of her non-immigrant visitor visa, I said. Levea moved to Brooklyn, New York, from Haiti in 1998 after her father died, Vonset Levea, the woman's brother, told Reuters. She has moved several times since coming to the U.S., living in Georgia, Philadelphia and New York after separating from her husband, the brother said. Levea lived at the New Mexico compound with her current husband Siraj Ibn Wahaj and their children since January, prosecutors said. She has six children, ages 1 to 15, her brother told Reuters. The couple and two others were arrested during an August 4 raid. Wahaj was still being held on an outstanding warrant from Georgia, while the two others remained in custody. The children discovered at the compound earlier this month were both trained to use firearms and taught multiple tactical techniques in order to KL teachers law enforcement officers and other representatives of institutions they found corrupt, state prosecutors said on Monday. Three-year-old Abdul Ghani Wahaj, who had been missing since December, allegedly died amid a ritualistic religious ceremony held on the grounds in an effort to cast out demonic spirits, Reuters reported. Violent crimes committed by illegal immigrants is nothing new. In fact, it seems to be one of the main reasons that people are so adamant about the immigration laws being protected. Why should people be allowed into the country if they're simply going to commit heinous crimes? America has enough crime of its own with our own citizens, so the last thing we need is someone coming here to commit more crimes. Of course, they're probably milking the welfare system too, thus being a burden on our government and the taxpayers. Some of the most horrible crimes committed involve an illegal alien beating an elderly woman, a man protected by sanctuary city status raping a child, and now this crime that involves holding kids like prisoners in squalid conditions. Consider these types of crimes and the fact that the people from the New Mexico compound were performing a ghetto-style exorcism trying to cast out demonic spirits from a child, who was then found deceased, and you can see why people want to deport illegal immigrants. For every good person out there, there's a few of the criminal type who ruin it for everyone. Had they followed the law and laid low, then no one would really know about them. With all of that going on, we haven't even touched on drug smuggling, but that's a big business that won't ever stop. There's no reason to continue a war on drugs. May as well call it population control at this point. That's another discussion for another day. How can President Trump get his border wall funded? If he cut welfare to immigrants who are able-bodied and available for work, then would he have enough money to fund his wall? That remains to be seen. There's a lot of paper that needs to be pushed around before things like that ever take place. It's not one of those overnight kind of things, but maybe it should be.